What's up everybody, it's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I use my iPad as a marine biology student or just a college student in general. So this has been one of the best purchases I have made in a very long time. So I thought you guys could benefit from hearing about my experience if you've been debating on buying an iPad, but I hope you guys enjoy and let's dive in. So let's kind of dive in first to why I bought my iPad. So I bought my iPad, number one, to be more eco-friendly. I no longer have to buy textbooks or rent textbooks. I no longer have to buy notebooks or any loose leaf paper. The second reason why I decided to invest in an iPad is because it's gonna end up being cheaper in the long run. Like I said, I don't have to buy any more notebooks. I don't have to buy a new planner every year. I don't have to buy physical textbooks anymore and typically e-textbooks from my experience are a little less expensive than actual like hard copy textbooks. So this has already saved me so much money and I've really only had it for how many months? May, June, July, August, September, October for six months. I've had this for six months and it has already saved me so much money. Now let's get into the details about my specific iPad. So I have the iPad 8th generation. I have a white iPad and the Apple Pencil 1st generation. I love this white iPad so much. I think white is such a classy color. I wish the iPhones continued to be made in white because I really don't like the black. I know there's not much black on iPhone faces anymore, but I still miss the good old days when it was a white iPhone. The case I have on here is just a basic Amazon case. I think I got this for like anywhere between 12 and $15. can't remember off the top of my head. It just holds my Apple Pencil, which is great. And it folds somehow and you can prop your iPad up. Um, I've never been able to figure it out and I never really had a use for it. I mainly just keep my iPad like flat on the table. And then my screen protector I have on my iPad. Let me put you guys onto this. So I have a paper-like screen protector on my iPad. I recommend this to anybody who uses their iPad for art or for school or anything like that or if you're just using an ipad in general this screen protector is i don't know if you can hear it but it's a little textured it feels like you're writing on paper instead of feeling like you're writing on a slick ipad screen it makes your handwriting a lot more legible and it makes it feel a lot more natural to write on your ipad rather than writing on a piece of paper and that was, I think, $14 on Amazon for a pack of two. Everything that I just explained, my iPad, my Apple Pencil, the case, everything will be linked in the description box down below. So if you guys are interested, go check the description box. Now moving on to all of the apps I use. The first one and the one I probably use the most is GoodNotes. GoodNotes was $7.99, but it has been worth every single penny. So in GoodNotes, I am able to download a PDF planner. I'm able to download all of my PDF like scientific articles I wanna read. I'm able to create so many different notebooks. This is everything I have on my GoodNotes right now. As you can see, I have so many notebooks, so many scientific papers, and it is just so amazing that everything is right on the exact same app in one place. Like I said, this app was $7.99, but Think about how much money you're saving in notebooks. One five-star notebook is like $3.99 and I have like six notebooks in here. So in the end of the day, it is totally worth it in my opinion to just splurge and spend the $8 on good notes. The next two apps I use the most are Blackboard and Canvas. If you're a college student, you know what both of those are or at least know what one of them is. So all of my classes except one use Blackboard and then that one class uses Canvas. So it's so awesome to have an app on my iPad because I don't have to worry about lugging around my computer with me and I don't even have them downloaded on my phone anymore so I don't get the notifications on my phone, which is great because I remember I would like be out with my friends and I'd get Blackboard notifications and I'm like, this is the last thing I wanna be getting on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> the next school app I have on my iPad is called Bookshelf and it is a branch of, I believe it's Vital Source, and this is where I get my e-textbooks from. So you just 
open the app and it will open up to all your textbooks. This is my calculus textbook right here. I love it so much. It is so convenient to have all of your textbooks readily available. So I have my two textbooks right here and it is so much easier. This calculus book is a hefty, hefty book and so is this biology book. I would much rather just carry around this rather than my two big ass textbooks. Plus with e-textbooks, I don't have to worry about returning them. I used to use Chegg for renting my textbooks. I still use Chegg, love her so much, love her the most. But last semester when I went to return my textbooks, they got lost in the mail because for those of you who do not know, uh, shipping it to and from Alaska sucks. Everything is lost. Everything takes so much more time and it costs so much more money to ship to and from here. So Chegg contacted me saying, we never got your book and we're charging you late fees. And then I had to call them and explain the situation and they ended up refunding me and I don't ever think they received the textbooks. So e-textbooks are so much better because I don't have to worry about them getting lost in the mail. <laughs> I'll quickly go through the rest of my apps in my school folder. So I have Perusal, which isn't an app. It's a bookmark that I saved from Safari but that also um, lets me get into some courses that are using Perusal and my professors upload like documents and homework assignments and stuff like that. It's mainly for reading articles, which it helps so much because when I used to read articles on my computer, I hated it because it didn't feel like a book, but now with an iPad, it actually like feels like I'm reading a book. So when I'm reading papers for class or scientific articles, it just feels so much more natural. Then I have Mathway and Desmos. If you guys don't know what Desmos is, it's a math app. Honestly, I don't really use it that much. My calculus professor told us to download it, so I did. And then I have Google Docs and Google Drive. Those are very self-explanatory as well, but those are great because I don't have to worry about lugging around my computer everywhere. The main question I've gotten from people when it comes to buying an iPad is, do I really need an iPad to study marine biology or be in college in general? And no, the answer is no, you don't need an iPad. You never need something. A paper and pencil works just fine. However, I myself much prefer going paperless. It's more eco-friendly and it's much lighter. This way is what like, two pounds maybe, not even. And all my textbooks would weigh my back down so much. And I don't know about you, but I don't want a broken back before the age of 22. So do you need it? No. Do I think it is absolutely worth every dime I have spent on this thing right here? Absolutely, yes. Now let's get into some pros and cons when it comes to using an iPad in school. And the biggest pro for me is it is so much more eco-friendly than using pen and paper. You are not constantly having to throw out notebooks when you are done using them because at the end of the semester, I can just delete all of my old notebooks off of my GoodNotes app and then start fresh next semester. And it is so much less wasteful. I don't have to buy a planner next year again because I bought an undated digital planner. So at the end of the year, I just clear the planner and we are back to a fresh new planner for the start of 2022. And like I said, all your textbooks, everything is right here. This is literally like your, this is your lifeline. This is my lifeline right now in college. Another thing I really enjoyed with using my iPad for school is, like I said, it just feels so natural reading off of your iPad rather than reading off of my computer. When I read off my computer, I could never focus. I would just get distracted because it didn't feel like I was reading an actual book. And with this, I have saved so many scientific articles that I can now go back and highlight and annotate on and I don't have to worry about marking up an actual article or an actual book. It is just so, so great. Now let's move into some cons because of course everything has pros and it has cons. One of the biggest cons is you obviously have to charge it. You have to charge your iPad while also charging your Apple Pencil. And sometimes I forget to charge it and then I'm screwed when it comes to class the next day because I don't have my notebook. I don't have my lifeline with me. Obviously you don't need to charge a notebook. So that is one thing. While technology is great, you have to charge technology. The last con is if this decides to crash, 
you are internally screwed because all your notes are on here, all your books, all your textbooks, everything is on here. When I got my new iPad, because backstory, I had a black iPad at first, if you guys didn't know that. I wanted a white one, couldn't get a white one, so then my best friend Michelle bought a white one and then we switched because she wanted the black one. So when I was transferring all my data from the old black iPad to my new white iPad, my iPad, this iPad totally crashed. It could not handle it for some reason. And all my notebooks, all my stickers for my small business, everything was gone. That doesn't happen with a physical notebook. So I now back everything up on to iCloud. So I definitely recommend doing that. But a big con is technology fails us sometimes, but you just need to be prepared for when it fails you because it's not if, it's a matter of when technology fails you at this point. <laughs> That was everything about how I use my iPad as a marine biology student or a college student. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.